here's a little something different for you good morning YouTube by the way <laughs> getting tired of uh, having to clean my Harleys up when I ride them to work it's just it's got to the point that uh, I just can't ride these things I can take off in the day and I need to I bump my camera around when I got home Sunday afternoon I don't know where it's at so I apologize if it's pointing the wrong direction looks like it's going the right way anyway I think it's down to you pray for a nice weekend and you gotta wait till like one or two o'clock in the afternoon before this clears off and what's crazy is everything around us you just go a few miles any direction and it's nice but the damage is ab is absolutely done before uh, you gotta watch a car just drive down the road with, without their lights on I like to go slow so it doesn't sling too much shit up on the bike but uh you gotta drive through this to get out of it now like this morning obviously we're fogged in fogged in pretty good so it's uh It'll probably be this way until about halfway to work. The damn speedo in this thing howls when it's cold. I don't know if you can hear it. That howling is not the motor. That's I flipped that thing upside down and lubed it before, and it, you got to take the dash out, which is quite easy to do on one of these. Well, I'm used to riding the Harleys, I think. I look down and see I'm 3,500 RPMs. I'm like, ship, ship! <laughs> but, uh... Anyway, I had, I had a point. That, that thing howls and drives you nuts. And it only does it when it's cold. And how that thing hasn't blown up. Because I've had... I've driven to work and, you know, like with it in the 20s. And I think just... Whoa, just screams. You slow down to 50 miles an hour, boom, goes away. So, as high as this thing is, you're probably not even seeing the damn road. And the shield's about to turn to shit, so you're probably not going to see anything at all. You're going to be going, why are you... Oh, yeah. You're not going to see crap. I'll have to lean out here a bit for you to see something. Once it gets wet, though, it'll start rolling up. I bobbed this thing about two and a half inches because the top of it was right in my line of sight and uh, any of you guys that know anything about these old ventures um, 83 and 84 this is an 83 it's a late 83 it's manufacture date is May of, of 1983 you know usually uh, by far the majority of the bikes that you see were built because um, they go into a you know, real massive production run. They're usually built at the end of the year prior to what they are. Usually starting in September. You hear that thing howling? Watch. And then it stops. Gotta forgot this thing. Oh shit, my choke's still on. I forgot I'm riding something carbureted. XVZ 12s. These things had a top speed of of like 146. I mean, that was in 1983. That was pretty crazy. And uh, I've had this thing where the speedo was almost almost pointing straight down. So if you look at how that thing rolls out, I was probably about one somewhere around 145. And the, the cool thing about these, once you get to about 100, 110, they, uh, they have like a ground effect. They're poochie. Look like an old dog, didn't it? I mean, a really old dog. But uh, they squat. It's crazy as hell. They, whew, they sink. No. It's like have crazy ground effects. And uh, man, it gets just crazy stable. 
And all you hear is that YICS just whirring. Just it's cool as hell. But I have a drive shaft that. That's a whole other story, but there's a Zerg fitting. It's supposed to lube the spline. It, it doesn't. As it turns out, you got to pull the diff assembly off of it and manually lube it. You should do it every time you change a tire. Well, you know, that's been known for years. God damn, what the hell did I run over there? That's been known for years and years. I don't know if you heard that. It's like a big rock or something. It kind of flipped the bike around. Didn't even see it. You know, you run over a rock and it'll roll. You ever been pushing your bike across your shop and there's an old dead zip tie or something laying, uh, zip ties in particular laying on the ground and things make the loudest pop? It's cool as hell. It scares the shit out of you. Is that a truck coming down this little road? Holy shit. Yeah, the drive shaft, the splines. You would be, you wouldn't believe how little are still uh, holding this thing together. So once I discovered they were gone, I, my burnouts and wheelies and stuff kind of got diminished. And I, you know, I did. I've been pretty religious about lubing the thing, but I think I these things are so fun to wheelie with. But I think I, I pushed my luck here. And because they were worn, they're, they weren't mating like they should. So I kind of made things worse. Look at that fog on the field. Is that beautiful or what? That damn Speedo's making that howling sound again. Very irritating. So anyway, I had to cut out all my wheels. And he, I know the obvious thing you're probably thinking, why don't you replace it? Well, they've been discontinued for like 10 years. Whoa, there's a little Joey slip clutch going action going on there. Jeez. But, uh, yeah, they're not available. I think I've read that you can use a VMAX and that supposedly they'll fit and you can still get VMAX stuff. But I need the uh, the pinion cup or collar, whatever the hell they refer to it as, that the shaft goes into. It essentially bolts to the pinion shaft. Well, I need both of those, so and that's discontinued too. And I think that's there's something different with that on the V Max. I think you can. Uh, Put a V Max, a whole rear end off of V Max, and use a shaft, and it works. But the uh, the gearing's different, so it it would uh, lower the gearing even a little bit more, which would be fine. I mean, do you really need a a 30 year old motorcycle to go 140 145 miles an hour? It's driving back and forth to Portland when I worked there. It was nothing to uh, to get caught up in traffic, and you just get it's the damnedest thing. I know you guys have run into this. You get in this little click of of cars. You know, it can be eight to ten cars, sometimes even more, and you're all going like 90 to 100 miles an hour down the freeway. This goes on for miles and miles and miles. Man, this thing just so But uh, I was getting a strange howl out of the back, and um, I was thinking that shaft had dried out. And actually, you know what? It did. I pulled that thing out. I have no idea why that thing dried out, but it was all rusty and should even less. I think I had skipped during a tire change or something. I think I was in a rush or something weird. I don't I don't remember the story or why I didn't lube it. 
but even that molly paste, it's amazing that it dissipates out. God damn, can you guys hear that speedo? That thing is getting loud. Something's gonna blow up here and leave me stranded. Flip that dash upside down. And Boom, it stops. Get down to a certain speed, it goes away. Only does it when it's cold. You can ride this thing all day long in the summer and nothing. But it's a fun old bike. But anyway, it's it's getting to the point it's too dark to even record. I don't, you're probably not seeing crap out here. I don't know how the camera's picking it up, but it's it's, it's pretty it's pretty dark. But uh, anyway, thanks for hanging out. Don't know if I'll ever do anything with this, but if I get bored and run out of videos, maybe I'll post it. Who knows? I think sometimes I do this just to entertain myself as I'm driving down the road. Because I post so few of what I actually take. If I'm riding, I'm recording. Had one time this year that I rode without recording, and that's when the wife and I took this thing to Chehalis. Wore open face helmets and decided, let's just take a, I'm not gonna record, I'm not gonna do anything, it's just gonna be you and I. I'm just gonna go putting around. So what do I do? I have my little Kodak ZX-5 with me and end up pulling that thing out and recording some stuff anyway. Actually, I even did a quick little thing when I was driving it. Went past this old house that's made out of rock. It's just cool as hell. So, I'm going. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for liking. I guess uh, thanks for disliking, if that's the way you feel. At least you're being honest. And uh, thanks for coming back. I think you people are crazy. But uh, it is much appreciated. We'll talk to you guys later. I've uh, got a few miles to go here, and I'll be home for the night. So take care now. Have a good evening.